angel numbers and manifestation today we are going to talk about one of this amazing requested topic that one of my subscribers asked me about and i wanted to share it with all of you guys so all of you know angel numbers are repeating numbers or patterns that you see in your everyday life that can act as signs that your manifestation is coming to you so in today's video we are going to talk about what are angel numbers why do they actually mean something because think about it they are just a sequence of numbers that you see but why do they actually have an effect and what does it mean for your manifestation and what to do that's the most important part i feel like nobody is talking about what to do when you see an angel number based on whether you are feeling good or you are feeling bad so let's get started first of all angel numbers like i said are a set of repeating numbers that you see when you have started on your manifestation journey so i know when a lot of us new to manifestation or old when we start this manifestation journey we are being told that the universe will communicate with you that your desire is on the way via things like angel numbers signs synchronicities you know many of us also have a sign that we have already set in our mind like if i see a dragonfly that's a sign from the universe or if i see a cat that's a sign from the universe what these actually are are a result of your held deeply held subconscious belief so what happens is when you hear several people talk about oh you will start seeing signs and synchronicities you will start seeing angel numbers when your manifestation is near when you have it in your mind what you do is you have sort of programmed your subconscious mind that when my manifestation is near start showing me signs this is the reason why you see them because you have subconsciously programmed you are so powerful you are so powerful that you have subconsciously programmed yourself into this idea that when something is near you see signs and synchronicities and this programming is very easy to do why because we live in a culture there is epigenetics it is true okay no matter what somebody says epigenetics is true we are a culture the entire world not just where you you know not just you or your family the entire world is living or used to live back then in the past based on signs and synchronicities which is why this idea is so easy for us to accept now does this work do angel numbers work and the answer to that question is yes angel numbers have to work because the only reason you are seeing an angel number is because you have set a rule for yourself that when your manifestation is coming close show me the number this is why whenever you see an angel number you can be happy and you can allow yourself to feel the reassurance that your desire is about to manifest now is it necessary for you to see an angel number when you are trying to manifest something like if you don't see an angel number is your desire not coming to you the answer to that question is a no see based on your own subconscious programming that's the reason why i told you about the epigenetics and the subconscious programming based on what your subconscious programming is that will decide whether you see the angel numbers or not so if you are not seeing an angel number don't worry you know so many people go like oh i have started manifesting but i have not been seeing any angel numbers means i'm not aligned and i'm not manifesting not true this is not true it is not necessary for you to see an angel number you see it great you don't see it great your manifestation is going to show up any way this is what i want you to know 
Sometimes people will see a different angel number. So let's see that you are let's say that you are trying to manifest money, but you see the angel number of love two two two. Does that mean money is not coming to you and love is coming to you? No, that's not right. What it means is, if you are trying to manifest money and you see the angel number two two two, it just means that money is coming to you harmoniously. See, you are the operant power, and everything that you see. in your world every angel number every sign is a result of or is in response to your desire so let's say you're trying to manifest love your sp and you start seeing 111 or you start seeing 555 or you start seeing 888 does it mean that your love is not coming to you no it just means 111 something amazing is about to start 555 Your situation with your with your person is about to change. Eight eight eight. You are going to have an abundant relationship. See, everything is takes meaning from you. You are the person who is going to give a meaning to what you are seeing. The angel numbers you are seeing is a result of your own subconscious programming, and every angel number is being shown to you in response to your desire. Now. what to do when you are seeing angel numbers now this is something so many people do not cover i don't know why you know it's like i'm i'm seeing this trend it it feels as if having faith in the universe is somehow wrong like i should do everything yeah that's that's great but i would like to receive some support right i deserve it I don't have to do anything on my own. I don't have to, because what is manifestation? Before I answer the question, what to do when you see your angel numbers? I know a lot of people have started shitting on this, shitting on angel numbers, on crystals and stuff like that. But what is manifestation? If you watched my three power statements video, I literally gave you an affirmation that the whole world. the whole world will move to give me what i want so in that affirmation and this is an affirmation that a lot of people use if you are using this affirmation why do people use this affirmation because this is the truth this is when you manifest if you are manifesting money if you are manifesting fame if you are manifesting your sp that person or that group of people those subscribers are going to subscribe to you that somebody is going to give you the money somebody is going to confess their love to you and they are going to do it because you deserve it so somebody else is going to in a way help you get your manifestation so why are we not taking help of the angel numbers like weird right It was weird to me when I found so many people shitting on angel numbers, crystals, and stuff like that. These ideas, which have been historically used, used right, to give us results. So, why go out of your way to make things complicated for yourself? Use these things wisely. Don't be dumb. You know that's the problem. I think the reason why so many manifestation coaches. are telling you not to rely on signs and synchronicities is because of what i'm about to tell you the most important part of this video what to do when you see an angel number or a sign or a synchronicity there are two parts to it one when you are feeling good and one when you are feeling doubtful bad or resentful what to do so when you are feeling good you see an angel number you step the pedal to whatever manifestation technique you were doing just go at it like it's this is it you have received the sign that whatever you're doing is fucking working so go out there get it yes that's what you're going to do when you're feeling good but what if you're feeling bad what if you're feeling doubtful right continue the first thing is continue with your technique second thing when you're feeling doubtful these angel numbers can become your guidance This is my personal experience right I'm going to share my personal experience because I 
whenever I've had difficulty in manifesting my desires and some old life pattern is showing up. Like I had this habit of self-sabotaging my desires. Like I would do a manifestation technique. I would start seeing the results and then I would stop, either stop the technique because I'd get scared. Oh my God, it's going to happen. What to do? Or I would just, you know, I'm seeing good things happen, but I'm panicking on the inside as if something bad's about to happen. When it happened for the first time, I was like, all right, let it go. Second time, I let it go. Third time, I was like, hey, I don't think I deserve this. I'm telling you my personal story, right? So I asked the universe to show me, like, the universe, your subconscious mind, my subconscious mind, God, whatever you believe in, right? I asked my subconscious and the universe to tell me what the hell is this because I want it out. I was like, this is not happening. This is unacceptable, right? Tell me what it is. Now, this is powerful. I immediately saw an angel number and it told me that I had a pattern of self-sabotage. I was, I was self-sabotaging myself. I was seeing progress. But then this progress meant that my life is about to change. But if you've read Dr. Joe Dispenza or if you've heard him speak, he explains it amazingly. But here's a gist. Your mind, your own conscious mind, your whole body is not used to success. Especially if you are trying to manifest something that feels good. Your body is used to complaining, to anxiety, to not feeling good. So what happens when you start seeing success? Your body realizes that when you will succeed or when you will get your desire, you will stop feeling the anxiety. That's like a drug that your body needs. Your body needs that anxiety. Your body needs to complain. You need, not you, but your body gets pleasure out of that complaining. The emotions that that complaining, feeling like a victim generates. And you're just going to change that just like that. Your body does not like change. Because it took years to program your body into this particular state where it likes to complain and it thrives on the sad emotions. So my self-sabotage was coming up. And the moment you know the name of something, your subconscious mind is so brilliant. I just had to say this one statement. I am self-sabotaging myself right now. I don't accept it, man. It's a waste of time. I stopped self-sabotaging myself. I immediately felt better. My desire started to show up even stronger and every single time I felt anxious, I knew what it was. Angel numbers, when you're not feeling good, ask for guidance and guidance will be given to you. What most people do not do is when you're feeling doubtful and you see an angel number, they'll get happy. That's good. But go ahead and read what this angel number means. What's the meaning of it in your particular area? Whatever you're trying to manifest, what does this angel number mean in that area? So let's say you're feeling anxious, you see 777, see what 77 means for love. Now, if anybody is trying to give you a prediction, this is another problem with the online community, just like tarot, just like astrology, just like any other spiritual science, so many people want to predict things for you. Like this is going to happen. And if you see such a person, run away. No. Nobody can tell you what's going to happen in your future. You decide. So check out only those websites which tell you the meaning of what is happening. Or the meaning of this angel number. No predictions. No predictions. Don't get scammed people. Don't get scammed. No. This is why a lot of people, a lot of coaches do not talk about this. Because there are millions of scammers out there ready to steal your money just so that they can make a fool out of you, giving you some stupid 
यू नो प्रोडिक्शन फ्रॉम भविष्यवाणी एज यू कॉल इट इन हिंदी स्टूपिड फ्यूचर प्रोडिक्शन दैट्स नॉट रियल एट ऑल यू गेट टू डिसाइड वॉट कम्स टू योर लाइफ एंड वॉट डजेंट कम टू योर लाइफ और राइट चेक आउट द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट एंजिन नंबर दैट विल गाइड यू यू कैन इजिली क्लेम टू योर माइंड डू नॉट डाई ट्राई टू डाइव डीप राइट लाइक वाई एम आई लाइक दिस Why do I feel like this? Where have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Why am I like this? We are not trying to blame ourselves more. What we are going to do is, oh, okay, this is it. Just claim, you know, nonchalantly, like, oh, such a waste of time, man. Why was I doing this? This is such a waste of time. I don't deserve it. Your subconscious mind will be like, chop, chop, release this emotion. Never again. this was a mini master class on how to do shadow work as well but this is what you need to do when you see angel numbers they are relevant because there is something called as akashic records or there is something called as what what is called it's called the collective consciousness that's what i think it it means that collective consciousness has accepted seeing these signs as an idea that you know that's predictive that what's going to happen so ride on your instincts ride on who you are don't try to become somebody and then wasting time trying to become somebody else don't do that be smart as well do not start believing people who are telling you oh, i'm going to tell you what's going to happen to you no just take the guidance when you need it all right so much fun to see angel numbers I mean, let me know what angel numbers you saw because the new year. Oh man, starting I think starting 11:50 p.m. on the 31st, I started seeing so many eights. This is an eight year, right? So I started seeing 800, 888, 888, and then the next day on the first, I saw so many angel numbers: 11:11, 15:15, 16:16, 1551, 1881, 1818, 1818. And I was like, wow. This is this is cool, right? So use things wisely. This is what I want to tell you. Everything is out here trying to support you. Even the universe moves to support you, just like people will move to support you. And if you are using the affirmation that everybody moves to give me what I want, and then you shit on people who talk about angel numbers, uh, you've got something wrong going up here. So. just get the help that you are getting you know because people universe star planet everything is out here to support you so with that i just said this video gave you all the necessary information about these marvelous angel numbers that you needed how to use them have fun with it give this video a thumbs up because i know it helped you i know it helped you comment What angel number you saw in the new year? Let me know what you saw. Share this video with your friends and family because that helps me, right? And that helps your friends and family as well. There's just so much information out there about angel numbers not being clearly told to you, right? So share it with them. Make sure if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I realize that I forgot my introduction. I am Neha Kumar, and I make manifestation easy for you so that you can go ahead and manifest the life you desire. I am your manifestation bestie. I want to see you succeed, right? If you want my personal guidance, check out the description box for one to one coaching packages. These are the best coaching packages out there because I'm going to personalize everything for you. I'll see you again soon. If you have any video requests, there's a poll. Uh, there's a poll going on, or I think there's a post going on on my channel. Just visit the channel, and there will be a community tab where there is this post. I've currently posted it. You can drop your suggestions in there. or you can drop your suggestions in the comment box i'll see you again soon